Yo, hello, it's Revy here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how we can make those five uh, different effects to use on the beginning, uh, and yeah, to use to your AMVs or animated. So you start off by making a composition, and I made um, uh, my composition uh, uh, FHD, which is you know this resolution and. Uh, uh, 24 fps per second okay so the first effect we, we are going to do is the like uh, neon shield kind of uh, effect we add our clip here we can start off by duplicating the clip then adding edge effect so we get this uh, outlined version of the character and then have mono edges then we add deep glow to it to make it glow and after that we add a four color gradient to change the color of the lighting i want to use a blue one so maybe like that okay so and uh, be sure to use uh, color as a blending mode because otherwise it would yeah look kind of weird uh first of all make this a uh, overlay and then add something like this okay it looks yeah very bright right now, right now but what i like to do is to increase the size of this yeah something like this then you guys see this weird stuff here if you want to get rid of that you can add denoiser it's called and uh, i want to mention this denoiser is a extremely uh, heavy effect for the for your computer, so it will lag quite a quite a lot when you're using it. So yeah, uh, let's see here. Okay, I don't think it makes so much different, but you guys see, it makes a little bit different. But yeah, this is uh, how you make the first effect here. Moving on to to the second effect now. The second effect we are going to make is for a more like uh, trippy style uh, with some like rain rainbow colors and stuff so yeah you just add your clip here and then you start off by adding a uh, colorama just like that and then you can change it to alpha here oh wait my bad wait. Uh, alpha here yeah so let's say you, you want to like make the colors move or whatever maybe we say let's say we keyframe like maybe maybe one second almost in front of us something like that the video and then we bam click here on the clock here to keyframe it uh, start at zero on the phase shift and then we move to the end and go all the way around to zero again and then it says one lap there okay and then we can if we want to have make it a little more smoother we can we can mark them and then press f9 so it will look like this Okay, and if you want to make it like a little bit more, more, let's say like retro style, like a, a little trippy retro style here. So, uh, oh, <laughs> not retro, it's called signal plugin. And uh, it will look like something like this. And I think this looks, I personally think this looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, this, yeah, that looks insane this like, in my opinion. Yeah, so that is basically the second effect here. And yeah, moving on to the third effect here. So you just import your clip just like that. And now, okay, so now when you add the clip, the third effect uh, we want, we're going to do is to make the uh, white part in the uh, the eye, uh, eyes glow. And uh, yeah, what you need to do first is to duplicate the layer, Control D, and on the layer above we going to add color key into this spell <laughs> color key and then we can hide the layer uh, beneath and then select uh, black and then
yeah something like that okay so yeah, and now we are going to add deep glow to this deep glow and then a uh, glint to make it a little bit more brighter in a way glint there and then we're going to change the color to red so yeah something like that and then just uh, going to press add and then show the layer beneath so i think this looks kind of cool yeah i mean yeah that's the basically the third effect and uh, now moving on to the fourth effect Okay, so this effect uh, is also a eye effect. Uh, this can be quite time consuming, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, it depends on the clip, of course. Uh, we're going to add, uh, I mean, we can duplicate the layer first and then add uh, optical flare layers like that. And then make it to add, so you just see the, the, the flare. And then we are going to keyframe the position. So we click here on the clock here and then just right on the eye. It looks something like this and it's not moving its eye now but when he moves let's see he moved here okay so that this is the this is the first frame he moves his eye so i'm going to keyframe here so it has the same position and then the next keyframe here we're going to move just press this one here and then try to like you know uh aim at the middle of the circle here uh then so yeah, you just keyframe whenever he is uh, moving his eye. This is how it looks so far, and I'm going to make a like time lapse of when I'm keyframe. So yeah, now it's basically basically done. Uh, so let's see how it, how it looks. And uh, yeah, to make it a little bit more, you can see, you can, guys, you can see the the eye like is, uh, you know, the shape is, you know, <laughs> increasing and decreasing, you know, a little small amount all the time so i think if we add a flicker to it it would uh, to the to the flare here it would uh, look a little bit better better so something like 77 and then 7 uh, 27 let's see now it's flickering so it looks like you know it looks more natural yeah, that is that is basically the fourth effect here, and uh, yeah, moving on to the last effect. So you just import your clip, just like that. And okay, so this effect uh, is a little bit uh, unique in my opinion. Uh, it's almost like a like a video game, kind of like a old <laughs> Pokemon game. I don't know, you know, it's uh, yeah, old video game style uh, effect here, uh, and uh, the first effect you're going to add it's called uh, jpeg damage and then you're going to change the quality to 0 0.025 it'll look like this and then i mean already now it looks like a video game just a little bit too smooth so if you really want like want to go all in for this style which i personally think it looks incredibly incredibly cool <laughs> Uh, you probably should change, change the FPS to a little bit lower than, than what I have and I have 24 so maybe like 10, 10 or something maybe even less okay but yeah um, so what you need to do now is to add uh, a signal so it has that like TV look kinda and uh, you guys know uh, the old TVs it has like it was like a little bit uh, curved the screen uh, to make it look like it's a little bit curved you can add warp and then <laughs> and then uh, go here to fisheye have this to like 10 or something and it looks a little bit curved just like that and if you want to get rid of this tape thing here it's up to you i 
I usually take it off sometimes, but yeah, it, you just go into Luma modulation and then tape error and just uncheck check it to get rid of it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy guys and uh, learned something from this video and I hope you can use these effects in your own edits or AMVs or yeah, whatever you want to use them in. Uh, but yeah, uh, give me some uh, new ideas uh, in the comments on tutorials you want to see and yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed and uh, yeah, have a great day. See you guys soon.